Now is the time for the second type of relationship query that is parent to child relationship query. Similar to child to parent relationship query, parent to child relationship queries also returns you the information of the related records to a particular record. So uh, let me give you an example over here. So we have a relationship between account and contact, right? As we have discussed earlier as well in the child to uh, parent relationship query. So this is the relationship that we have between uh, like account and contact. When it comes to parent to child relationship queries, what we are doing, we want to fetch the records of the parent object and also the records which are associated to the uh, also the rec also the child objects record which are associated to that particular parent record. So let me give you an example. Uh, you want to fetch uh, records of account uh, like there are ten records that you are getting as a result and you want all the associated uh, child records of those parent records. So that means with those 10 account records, uh, you're fetching the records which are related to like first account record, like uh, uh, you're fetching the records, which you're fetching the child object records, which is the contact objects record, which are related to the first account. You're also fetching the uh, contact objects records, which are related to second account. So if there are uh, like, there are two accounts, let's say ACC1 and ACC2. So ACC1 have uh, has three contacts C1, C2 and C5 and ACC2 has uh, three or like two contacts you can say. So if we are fetching the records of like we are fetching ACC1 and ACC2 we are also fetching uh, the information or the uh, records of contact object which is C1, C2, C5 and C3 and C4 uh, as a part of a single query and this is what we do uh, with the help of parent to child relationship query now let's go back to our code and have a look that how we can do that so in here um, i have created a query i have written down a query over here let's understand what this query means so first of all i have written down select name common number of employees so these uh, fields are of the account object only and after comma i have written down another like i have written down parentheses and in those parentheses i have written down inner query yeah, yeah, this is or you can say child query which will fetch the contact objects record which are associated to the accounts which we are getting with the help of this whole SQL query. So I have written down select last name comma phone from contacts as you can see over here. Why I have written down contacts is because contacts are is the child relationship name between account and contacts uh, relationship field. So instead of writing down uh, select last name comma phone from contact i am writing down from contacts and after that i am writing down from account so this will fetch all the account object records and all those account object records will also have the associated contact objects record uh, returned or fetched with the help of this particular parent to child relationship query and uh, like the output will be returned to this particular acc list and this will uh, include the information of all the like account records and there will be uh, like there will be another list that will be stored as a like uh, as a contacts uh, which we can store into another what do we say okay so uh, another uh, list of contacts so we can store it over there let me give you another example over here so in here or uh, let me explain it to you a bit further this select name comma number of employees this is part of the main query huh? and from account that means we are querying the records from to the uh, from the parent object and we want the records which are associated to the parent object uh, which are uh, we, we want the records of the child object which are associated to the parent objects record so how we can do that is by writing down inner query and this is the inner query that we have in here select last name comma phone from contacts and contacts is a child relationship name again inside an inner query after from you're going to write down child relationship name so when it comes to account and contact uh, we have contacts as a child relationship name and how you're going to check that what is the uh, child relationship name so we'll go to object manager and we'll go to contact object because uh, the relationship field is onto the contact object and inside in the fields and relationship i'm going to go to this account name and over here if you can see here i have 
contacts as a child relationship name so you will always write down the child relationship name uh, when it comes to the inner query or when fetching the records and also fetching the uh, child records of that particular record so this is how we're going to do it now this is how we do it with standard objects how we're going to do it in custom objects like how we're going to identify what is the child relationship name in uh, custom objects and uh, like how to write down the query uh, or how to write down the parent to child relationship query when it comes to custom objects so don't worry let me explain it to you so here is a simple example over here in front of you let's have a look so i have a query select name comma student email from ratings underscore underscore r and then student underscore underscore c so this is the complete query that i have um, that i have written down as an example of parent to child relationship query first let's have a look uh, what type of relationship do we have uh, between these custom objects so i have student and then i have rating so uh, like there is a relationship between both of these objects and uh, i'm going to uh, like fetch the records of the student object and all the associated ratings to all of those student records that i'm fetching through the sql query so how i'm going to do that i'll write down select name comma student email underscore underscore c uh, comma student name underscore underscore c so all of the th all of these three fields are from the student object as we can see that this query uh, we are writing down this query onto the student object itself so uh, we are writing down on student underscore underscore c so all of these three fields are from the student object now we want to fetch the records which are associated to this uh, like to, to the student object record how are we going to do that we're going to write down again an, an inner query and here is an example or here is the inner query that we have written down over here let's have a brief look at it so inside this inner query uh, we have written down select name comma rating for underscore underscore c comma rating out of uh, 10 underscore underscore c so these three are again the fields of rating object and after from i'm writing down ratings underscore underscore r ratings underscore underscore r so this is the child relationship name when it comes to custom objects let me explain it to you uh, how to figure out the child relationship name when it comes to custom objects so similarly uh, will like i mean similarly to, similar to standard objects will go to uh, custom object uh, on which we have that relationship field so we have this relationship field on what we have this relationship field uh, on rating object so we're going to go to rating objects relationship field and on this rating object relationship uh, on this rating object we have this relationship field over here student and in here if you'll see we have the child relationship name over here ratings yeah the, here it is ratings so this is the child relationship name so in the query i'm gonna first write down the child relationship name that needs to be appended with underscore underscore r why because this is a custom relationship field that's it so listen to me very very clearly there's only one difference between standard object and custom object when you're writing down the child relationship name you need to write you like in, when it comes to standard object you do need, you just need to write down the child relationship name but when it comes to custom object you also need to append that child relationship name with underscore underscore r now let me tell you which type of relationship query you need to use when so when uh, you want the information uh, like you're querying the records of child object and you want the information of the parent object as well go for child to parent relationship query but when you are querying the records onto a parent object and you have uh, you want the information of the child object that is the object which is onto the many side of a relationship then in that case go for parent to child relationship query which includes an inner query and inside that inner query you have to write down the child relationship name and that child relationship name needs to be appended with underscore underscore r if that is a custom relationship field